I was still here. I'm still <clears throat> just sort of getting on with it. And um, I thought the first few weeks were really tough. And then when they extended it again the other week, I was like, oh, but I think I've got my rhythm now. I know what I'm doing. And uh, I just like, I don't know. I think it's about sort of finding things to keep your mind occupied. And I've been on learning some languages. Not, I'm not very good at them, but just doing stuff like that. Because to start off with, I was just sat on my Instagram for like, four hours a day and I thought you know you can only do that for so long so I started to get um using my one run a day going outside and uh yeah I'm, I'm still it's good news obviously the other week with the, the crucible getting announced so that the the world championships um at the end of July so that's sort of um given a bit it's a bit of brought, like light at the end of the time you know I've been doing some Chinese I've been doing Spanish French like everything so um I wouldn't say I'm very good at any of them and like the rate I'm going it's like maybe I'll be able to speak a few of them in like a hundred years or something so um it's just I think I'll probably stop it when it's all over but in the day instead of sort of sitting on social media it's I think it's better to at least do something on your phone constructive. Can he hold himself together the biggest shots of his career so far? One good positional shot here perfect shot I think two just oh, we'll be feeling it inside at the moment Jack Lazowski he's 20. taking these very calmly just this black for a place in the second round and there goes, uh, Jack Lazowski puts back to Stuart Bingham he must be delighted. Normally I'm sort of one of the players that needs to practice quite a lot and um, with my table being um, around my mum and dad's house and everyone's in lockdown, I haven't actually played. So uh, as soon as we're, hopefully the government sort of let us out sooner rather than later so I can put some hours in before the world because I, um, I know I need it, you know. So I don't know. I think as long as I can sort of get a month before, I think the world is what, about three months away. So as long as they let us out within the next two months, I think I'll be okay. Do you think that that, I mean, it'll, if there isn't that long to practice, then it could suit certain players and work against certain players? Or do you think everyone will be in the same boat sort of thing? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Some players sort of, they need to practice for ages. And um, I think I'm one of them. So maybe it wouldn't suit me so much. But as long as you sort of got a month, a month practicing, I think everyone's pretty good after that. There's obviously the lack of match practice. No one's going to have played. Um, I'm not sure if they're putting some tournaments on before. Nothing's been announced yet. But. I think more the lack of match practice will affect some players, you know. Who, who do you think could benefit from match? Do you, do you think actually would be an advantage going in with not as much practice? I think players probably like um, Tepchaya and um, and Judd and the, the most natural ones. I think they they will um, maybe do best and some of the more sort of technical, methodical, slower players, maybe it's not going to suit them so much. But then, and again, you, you don't know, it's sort of, if players have got uh, tables in their houses, then I think that's like a big advantage at the moment for, for everyone that has got a table in the house. We just noticed you've got a bit of an isolation tash going on. What, what's the theory behind that? Yeah, I, I, I feel um, I was going to try and do everything, do the whole the whole lot, just leave it grow. But my beard was getting too itchy. Um, so I thought, okay, I'll try it, at least keep the tash. And um, I didn't know I was going to be doing anything like this with uh, you guys. So but I thought when, when, when Django said I got to speak to you on webcam yesterday, I thought I'm just going to keep it. And um, the idea is I'm just going to shave it when we're allowed back outside. So, yeah, it doesn't look too bad, does it? No, I think it's looking good. I think it's a good move. I think you should be rocking that at the Crucible. <laughs> I'm not sure about that, but <laughs> yeah, it's different anyway.